In past episodes, we've bandied about the term benchmarking, but we've never really examined it on its own. Until now. In this episode, we'll learn the basics of benchmarking, review the recommended six phases of a successful benchmarking process, and finally, get reacquainted with one vital ingredient when benchmarking – metrics. Benchmarking is a search for and implementation of best practices. Robert C. Camp, who has published a pair of books on the topic, says, Benchmarking performance measurements are a useful way to identify organizations that perform significantly better than others, and therefore, might have best practices. Things you should consider benchmarking include products and services, the features and functions desired by customers, business processes, the basis for business process improvement and re-engineering, and performance measures. The result of benchmarking is to establish and validate objectives for the performance measures that guide the organization. There are four types of benchmarking, according to Camp. Internal, a comparison among similar operations within your organization. Competitive, comparing to what's seen as the best from the direct competitors. Functional, comparing methods to companies with similar processes in the same function outside of your industry. And lastly, generic process benchmarking, which compares work processes to others that are innovative and exemplary. For free resources focused on benchmarking, log on to the Learn About Quality section in the ASQ Knowledge Center at the link below. While there are a variety of steps to achieve successful benchmarking, a systemic approach is necessary to adapt best-in-class processes, according to Benchmarking for Hospitals. The book focuses specifically on healthcare, but the concepts can be used in other industries. The authors outline a six-phase process to complete proper benchmarking. The phases are planning, data acquisition, analysis, integration, action, and maturity. The first step in the planning phase is to determine what it is you want to benchmark. Decide what processes must be improved to achieve the organization's vision. Categorizing items to be benchmarked by their importance will allow a benchmarking team to determine priorities before establishing baselines and defining overall objectives. Once the team is ready to acquire the data, multiple options exist, including conducting a questionnaire or site visit. In the data acquisition and analysis phases, performing gap analysis and communicating findings to gain acceptance are crucial steps to understand the organization's current state and where it needs to go. This sample gap analysis allowed a benchmarking team to learn how a hospital's patient satisfaction scores compared to the national average and best in class. Finally, the action and maturity phases round out a benchmarking project. At this point, Team members should be developing improvement plans, monitoring employee progress, and developing objectives for continued improvement. To read more from Benchmarking for Hospitals, purchase the ebook at the link below. Before undertaking any benchmarking efforts, it's important to acknowledge and understand one key ingredient metrics. NASA engineer Tim Adams explains The metric is really a distance called the distance function in mathematics, the distance between two points. The desired state is what you want. The current state is what you have. The distance between those two states is the metric. Adams describes three areas you always want to measure. In other words, the three desired states people want. Well, in my world, I keep it simple and there's three. And I call them big E, little e, little a. Going over those, effectiveness would be related to quality, a purpose, little e is related to quantity or use of resources, and little a is related to the human element or the satisfaction of the human spirit. When minding your metrics, always remember the goals you're looking to achieve. All metrics come from a goal, so you don't just pick one metric just like you only would not pick one goal. So when you do your metrics, think of goals. Visit the ASQ Knowledge Center to find free resources focused on metrics at the link below. Well, that's it for now on ASQ TV. We hope to see you back here next time when we discuss the voice of the customer. Something you can't ignore. See you then.